Obama was inadequate, but America will miss him. As Barack Obama's presidency draws to an end, we can now discuss not what his election symbolised, but what he actually did. Judged by what was necessary, Obama was inadequate. Judged by the alternatives, he was a genius. Congratulations, Mr. President. He was elected in the full bloom of the financial crisis, when change, for many Americans, wasn't simply a slogan, it was a real and urgent need. But under his presidency, the gap between rich and poor and black and white grew. Guantanamo is still open, the financial system that caused the crash remains intact, while poverty, corporate profits, deportations, drone attacks and whistleblower convictions are all up. True, he performed triage on a hemorrhaging economy, rescued the car industry, delivered some health care to large numbers on fairer terms, promoted alternative energy sources and cut carbon emissions. But given his mandate and what the moment required, a new deal for the country as a whole and a Marshall Plan for American cities in particular, it was insufficient. True too. He was stymied by the Republicans, but he stood promising to heal the partisan divides and for some of his presidency, Democrats did control both houses and had a supermajority in the Senate. That said, his victory saved the country from austerity, Vice President Sarah Palin and the endless escalation of at least two major wars. Preceded by George W. Bush, he repaired America's image in most parts of the world, returned verbs to sentences and facts to science. Soon to be succeeded by Donald Trump's dystopia, the nostalgia for his calm, measured and consensual approach has begun early. America will miss him. He leaves the White House untarnished by scandal, and these are no small things. They are also not enough. Could be worse is poor rhetorical compensation for yes we can. But the more we talk about him, the more we miss the point. A system in which the best option is inadequate to the nation's needs is by definition in crisis. His inability to deliver on his promise isn't simply a personal failure, it's a systemic one. Obama is just one man. He couldn't have done everything, but he could have done more.